Uh, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Okay, Mr. Anderson? Here. Mr. Castillo? Here. Ms. Gill? Here. Ms. Litton? Here. Mr. Reitinger? Present. Ms. Russell? Here. And Mr. Webb? Can you hear? Mr. Webb, are you here? I'm here. Thank you. Uh, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's seek a motion that the board adopt the agenda as presented. So moved. Thank you, Mr. Castillo. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Lytton. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed or abstained? Um, on to section 1.05, um, remote participation. Um, I would ask somebody to please approve the remote participation of school board member Lawrence Webb. Madam Chair, I move that the school board approve remote participation of school board member Lawrence Webb under policy BDD, electronic participation in meetings from remote locations. Thank you, Mr. Reading. Our second? Thank you, Ms. Litton. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed or abstained? Aye. Aye. Oh, thank you, Lawrence. Um, next, we'll move into 2.01, which is our closed meeting. Um, would someone please read us into closed? Pursuant to the Virginia Freedom of Information Act, I move that the board convene a closed meeting for the following purpose to discuss or consider the identified subject matter. Personnel under section 2.2-3711A1, in particular, superintendent's contract. Thank you, Ms. Lynn. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Castillo. Uh, Ms. Goodell? Uh, yes, Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Castillo? Aye. Ms. Gill? Aye. Ms. Litton? Aye. Mr. Reitinger? Yes. Ms. Russell? Yes. And Mr. Webb? Yes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Would someone please move to reconvene to open meeting? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Castillo. Second? Second. Mr. Oh, thank you, Ms. Lennon. All those in favor? Oh, wait, no. Are we going to do roll call? Okay. Oh, no, we don't. Right, sorry. All those in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Thanks. Um, 3.01, would someone please certify the closed meeting? Madam Chair, whereas the Falls Church City School Board has convened a closed meeting on this date, Pursuant to an affirmative recorded vote and in accordance with the provisions of the Virginia Freedom of Information Act, and whereas Section 2.2.3711B of the Code of Virginia requires a certification by the school board that such a closed meeting was conducted in conformity with Virginia law, now therefore be resolved that the Falls Church City School Board hereby certifies that, to the best of each member's knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirement by Virginia law were discussed in the closed meeting to which this certification applies, and two, only such public business matters which were identified in the motion convening the closed meeting were heard, discussed, and considered. Thank you, Mr. Reitinger. Is there a second? Thank you, Ms. Russell. Uh, Ms. Goodell. Yes. Uh, Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Castillo? Aye. Ms. Gill? Aye. Ms. Litton? Aye. Mr. Reitinger? Yes. Ms. Russell? Yes. And Mr. Webb? Yes. Thank you. Thanks. All right. We move on to our only business item tonight, which is uh, 4.01, approval of the superintendent's contract. Um, we are very excited to be here tonight to finally approve uh, the renewal of Dr. Newton's contract for another four years um, with our district. Um, he's done an amazing job um, on behalf of Falls Church City Public Schools, and we are thrilled that he wants to continue to work here. And um, this has been a long process to get the contract um, to this stage, uh, not because of any issues that we've had with Dr. Newton, but we've had technical issues and there it's a, it's complicated. So um, we have been working on this since early this summer. So this is feels like it's taken a long time, but we wanted to make sure we did it the right way. Um, so if you have anything you'd like to say. Uh, yeah, I, I actually um, always have something to say. It seems like, <laughs> do you, do you <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I've got a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I do. Uh, I do want to first say thank you. Um, it is an honor and a, a privilege to work with all of you. Two and a half years ago, when I took this position, um, you, you know, when you get into positions such as superintendencies, um, everybody's sort of taking a chance, you know, and, and you do the best you can in your selection process both ways: superintendent with the district and the school board with the superintendent. And when when things work out, it's really great. And uh, I, I feel very fortunate and very lucky 
to be able to work with a board that is supportive like you all are um, of your schools and of the community. Uh, I feel very lucky to work with such a great staff. Um, we've got a, a really tremendous um, crew, not only here at Central Office, but in all of our schools, and continue to build. Um, and I, I had a moment today of sort of reflection as I was thinking about um, when I came on board two and a half years ago and sort of shared with you all um, my entry plan. And you might remember, some of you might remember the entry plan, but there were four parts of that that I thought were important to me and sort of were my ethical guideposts, if you will. Um, and I think that um, myself and the team have really been able to sufficiently sort of work through that and it's helped us build sort of an establish um, a culture of leadership and a culture of care here in the, the schools. And, um, you know, the first thing was about innovation. And, you know, as we continue to construct our new high school uh, and think about innovation, um, that innovation pillar is really important to us. Um, what's going to happen in that new high school that we're building is not going to be like what happens in any other high school across either the Commonwealth or, I would dare say, the United States. Um, we're going to have uh, something very special going on there, and it's a compliment to all of you and your leadership as a board. So being able to innovate was super important. Uh, collaboration was a second pillar. Um, the idea of being able to work together and work with a team um, and, and us being able to work together so remarkably has been um, something that's very special uh, as well. Um, ethical leadership is something, a third pillar that was of, of mine that I truly believe is absolutely important. Um, and, and working in transparent and honest ways with the community to build relationships um, that not only are just short-term relationships but truly long-term relationships are uh, equally important to me and I know are important to the community and important with respect to continuity of instructional programming for our kids here in the school system too. So, uh, and then the last is uh, this idea of you know, ensuring equity for all. Um, you know, we have really focused a lot of our efforts over the last two and a half years of, of really building out systems uh, and looking for new ways to, to innovate and be creative and thoughtful to ensure that all of our kids have equitable access to our great instructional programs here uh, in the city of Falls Church. And so those four pillars that um, I brought to you and sort of have tried to live my life by for the last, last two and a half years are those that I want to continue to um, enhance and foster over the next four uh, as I look forward to our, our work together. Um, again, I, I wouldn't be here without the really tremendous team that we have. Um, I, I have my, my family um, I, to thank as well. Um, you know, they, I feel like I'm giving a, an award speech or something, but I, I do, I do feel like, it's, yeah, I know, I know, but I, I do feel like it's, um, Super important to recognize that, you know, yes, I get to work with you and you get to work with me, but um, with me comes a family of, of, of people that are equally important to me. And, you know, my, my partner Bethany and her work at George Mason University has certainly influenced in many ways some of the work that's happening here in the city of Falls Church. And, um, you know, our, our partnership is important. And, uh, you know, my son, who's a, a junior in high school, and Betsy, who's a fifth grader, and Emily, who's a third year at UVA, have really made a commitment and a decision to, to stay in Virginia and stay in Northern Virginia and stay in Falls Church and, um, and, and Bethany at, at George Mason University. So we're excited to, to stay. I was just saying to somebody, I've, I've been in Virginia for 18 years um, and look forward to spending the rest of my career um, here as long as you'll have me. So I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, look forward to our continued work together. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I feel like I've gone to superintendent's heaven um, and uh, look forward to uh, many years to come. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Well, I mean, it's been a great two and a half years. And I think this, <clears throat> uh, the commitment we've made in the contract reflects that while also being responsive to budgetary needs and um, being fiscally prudent while also recognizing the incredible work you've done and how much we value you. Thank you. Um, I would open it up to the rest of the board if anyone would like to say anything. Um, before we make a motion to approve the contract. I just, one of the things I've, as you know, I've had some opportunities to talk to people publicly um, over the course of the last um, few weeks. And one of the things that I'm, uh, I'm fond of telling people is that there are certain things that the board has an authority to do and a responsibility to do. And the most important responsibility we've got is selecting the superintendent. And so um, I'm very proud of 
having had a role, this is not about me, but <laughs> having had a role in selecting um, a person who I think is a very good superintendent for the Foster City Schools, and the, the, it's, 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 it's wonderful to see the partnership continue. So as someone who's been an audience member to a lot of the forums that Phil's been speaking at, um, one of the things that struck me at every single forum from every single candidate is just the effusive compliments that they give Dr. Noonan and the work that he's done. And um, not just privately amongst each other, but publicly and very vocally. Um, I've never heard a single person say a word negatively about him. Um, but that being said, the public praise and over a variety of topics, not just one specific thing such as the high school or any other the efforts that he's worked on, but just everything, boom, 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 across the board, um, people have been really impressed and pleased with. And I think that that's such a fantastic change for this community. So happy to have you back. Uh, Dr. Noonan, I think we just really appreciate your leadership. You know, I think people take that for granted. I think it's actually a really difficult skill to be an amazing leader, and I think you've been that. So I think we just want to say thank you. I just wanted to <laughs> chime in real quick um, just to, uh, to say that I'm very excited to have Dr. Noon on board for another uh, two years, and for four years, and it was one of the highlights of my time being board chair. Um, that is to be able to hire Dr. Noonan, and he has been an asset to, I think, all of us, as well as the City of Falls Church, um, getting us back on sound footing within the community, and I look forward to his continued leadership along with the board and being able to continue to do that. Thank you, Mr. Webb. Thank you, Lawrence. And uh, I, I'll build a little bit on some of the things um, in some of those. I also have had the occasion to, to hear Phil speak more than I've normally heard him speak in a while. Um, and in every one of those events, I would say that there's a general reaction through the room uh, when the comment, uh, when compliments do come forward, uh, that, that there's a general feeling through the room that, yes, it's been a good two and a half years. And uh, we're very fortunate to have you here. I, I will say for me personally, um, as a new uh, as a new board member coming on board and, and sort of learning what the role is it's a complicated role and and it, it can be difficult but having good people to work with both on the board and also having a very good leader for the schools to work with has been very helpful to me and I really appreciated that so that's been very that it's been very good to have and then I was going to actually switch gears for a second and just thank our chair um, for the leadership in, in actually reaching this point with the contract. It's been a long process, and thank you for, thank you for taking us through it. Well, thank you all for your <clears throat> dedication to getting this done as well and the many meetings that you have attended. <laughs> um, would someone uh, like to make a motion to um, approve the new contract? I move that the board, with the, concur with the concurrence of the superintendent, term terminate effective July 1, 2019, its existing contract with the superintendent ending June 30th, 2020, and simultaneously authorize the chair to execute on behalf of the board an agreed upon contract for the reappointment of Dr. Peter Noonan as superintendent of the Falls Church City Public Schools for a term beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 30th, 2023. Thank you, Ms. Lydon. Second? Thank you, Ms. Russell. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, <laughs> abstained? Opposed? Um, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I Thanks, will now all. sign the contract. Um, I'll sign one and then we can adjourn. Okay. Make it official. Great. Yes. All right. um. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Great. Thanks, everybody. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to be back. <laughs>
Um, Madam and Chair? We, oh, yes, oh, go ahead, Mr. Christie. I, I wanted to reserve my remarks until after we had voted on and approved sure. the contract. I thought that was more appropriate. Um, I just want to echo what everybody else said, Dr. Noonan. When I met you in 2013, I said, this is the guy I want to be superintendent here someday, and I'm, I'm glad it took a little longer maybe than we would have liked, but I'm glad you're here. And uh, I'm glad that you'll be here for, for many more years and, and you're doing good work. I, I think we all need to remind ourselves that this is a hard operation to mess up, so we have to hold ourselves to a high standard. But I, I'm, I'm sure you'll do that and keep doing that. And thank you. Thank you for being our superintendent. And thanks, thanks to your family as well for their support. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right. If there's no further um, comments, we are adjourned. Okay. Sign the other. Oh, yes.